What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be making sushi for the first time and we're gonna do a little story time. Let's go. All right, so got the bamboo thing. I'm gonna open this up. Roll that out. Now they say to wrap it with plastic wrap, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. So I know some people know me on here and some do not. So I'm here and I am going to tell you a little bit about myself. This, and I'm assuming you do this so the rice doesn't get into it. it would be the only logic reason why you would wrap it. You would use the box, but we're just gonna use the knife. So I've never made sushi before. I like sushi, but I don't like all sushis. Um, I wish they would do like a platter where you could order sushi, you know, and you could try different ones because who wants eight sushis and then you get it and you're like, this is absolutely disgusting. Cause you know, not all sushi is great and yummy. So that would be really cool. So, you know, if you're watching this restaurant, make a sushi where it's like assortments, you know? So you get like two California rolls, two tuna rolls, two specialty rolls, and you get to try it before you have to spend all this money and you don't even like the sushi, so. All right, so now we have it in wrap. Now, some of these I've seen, cause I've done some research, it shows like a green side and a light side. This is just one color. So I have no idea how that's gonna turn out, but we're gonna find out, right? So I am going to be turning 40 this year. Yes, the big 4-0, I can't believe it's like 40 years old. Um, I'm not one of those people that are like, oh my God, I'm getting old. I embrace, you know, getting older. I feel like I'm wiser and more mature than I was, you know, years ago when you're younger and you don't know much about life. All right, so this is seaweed and it's Sushi Nora, I think that's how you say it. Now, I'm assuming because cut it in half, I don't even know, because it doesn't look as, as big as the other ones. So maybe this is the full roll, but maybe not. But if I was to cut it in half, let's see. All right, so back in the day when sushi was just coming out, I wasn't a big fan of it. I have issues with smells. If it smells funky, I can't eat it, you know? Like, I don't know, I guess some people can tolerate it, but I am not one of those people. If it has a funny smell, I'm going to not be able to eat it because it's gonna make me gag, and then it's not gonna be pretty. Um, so I didn't eat sushi for a while, and then I picked back up eating it again, trying it out. And I like some of it, not all of it, you know? Some is okay, some is good. All right, so you you got the hard spot and the soft spot, and I'm gonna be 100% honest, I do not remember what side it goes down, but that's okay. We're just gonna work with it, right? So I am a mom. I have two kids that are, you know, mine that I gave birth to. Um, my son is 20 and my daughter is 18. I'm gonna put water in my fingers so the rice doesn't stick. I have a stepson that is 20. My son name is Max. My daughter is Malia and Ethan, and then I, also have a blended family. My boyfriend, he has kids as well. And you know, when you get with somebody, you have to think about their kids as well. You know, it's no longer just your children and you accept them and that's how relationships are supposed to be. We add him to the family. Ah. So one thing I don't like about sushi is when it's a lot of rice. So I don't want a ton of rice in it because it just ruins it to me. But this rice is, wet it a little more so I can get that done like that. Maybe too much in some spots, but we're just gonna have to make it work. First roll is probably gonna look like crap, but you've got to practice, you know, can't get things right unless you practice. So what better way to practice with you guys? Now I'm gonna put this off to the side up here and we have our cucumber. I love cucumber, but I am no longer able to eat cucumbers like I used to. I have IBS and it causes a lots of problems in my stomach. So there's actually a few things that I cannot eat anymore that I used to be able to eat and cucumbers are one of them. Let's see, we'll cut it down the middle like that and then I'm just gonna cut down the middle again. I'm not gonna add a lot of cucumber anyway because like I said, it bothers my stomach and I'm not trying to have an upset stomach, but I do love some cucumbers. So let me tell you, one thing about being a parent is it's hard and stress never goes away. You know, you think when you have a baby, you're sitting there and you're checking them every few hours to make sure they're still breathing. Let me tell you parents, it doesn't get any easier as they get older. You know, you got the baby stage and then you got the toddler stage where they're independent and they think they can do whatever they want. You know, you gotta watch everything they're doing, where they're going. And then, you know, get into the more, I wanna say adolescence, but you know, getting up into the place where, you know, they're trying to figure out who they are, where they fit in, some kids, you know, a follower, some are leaders, and then you got ones that just are introverts, which is okay. You know, you're always worrying about it because you can't 
fix everything for your kids. You know, they go through a lot and you've got to watch, let them learn. And then they get into teenagers and teenagers is, you know, it can be rough sometimes depending on what's going on in their lives and what's happening. Um, especially when they start driving. Oh my God, it's so scary. Like every time my phone rings, I'm like, oh my God, please don't let nothing happen. And um, I want to say last year, my eldest, Ethan, got in an accident. Very scary. He was okay, thank God. Car was totaled, but he is good. Not one scratch, walked away with nothing. God was looking after him, but it's scary, you know? And then they move out, you know? Ethan moved out, he's living on his own, you know? So you don't see them as much anymore, but you still worry. Like no matter how old your kid is, you're always gonna worry about them. That's what parents do. So just if you think that baby stage, the infant stage is hard, so wait till they become teenagers and they're driving and then they're moving out and you know, they get the first heartbreak and nothing you can do but watch. All right, so we have an avocado. And twist. Then you're gonna take the skin off, obviously, everybody knows that. Well, I'm assuming everybody knows that. You know, one thing I have to say I find very interesting is, you know, I'm from the States, born and raised in Florida, um, but you know, it's cool going into different stores. You know, you have your Spanish stores, you have your Asian stores, uh, markets and stuff. So it's unique because you go in and you have no idea what anything is like I go in there and I'm just like wow it's so foreign and so unique and cool and I wonder you know that's probably how they feel when they come here for the first time to the states it's like they walk into our grocery stores and they're like well, what is this what's that what's this and it's got to be like you know how do I cook with this very interesting I have to say because you know that's how I feel when I walk into those stores I don't know what half the stuff is now that we have all of that done I instead of using the imitation crab I went and got real crab i didn't buy a lot i just bought like a few legs little snapper things to make fresh because i'm not i don't like the imitation crab i don't like the way it tastes you know i don't feel it's authentic obviously it's not even crab it's fish you know so go figure that calling something crab when it's not all right back to my roll so i think i might have this on wrong i have no idea but it's okay you know so we're gonna go ahead and i put like a little dent here they said that's what to do so I'm gonna take my crab, I'm gonna lay that down in the middle there, and I'm gonna take another one and lay that there. I'm gonna take some avocado, and we're gonna place that on top, just like that. I mean, it looked like I'm doing it right, but I don't know. And then we're gonna take, I believe these are way too big, so I'm gonna try to make these a little smaller. I don't have the best knife skills yet, but let's see if I can make these tinier, because I know they're not very big and sushi, they're kind of very small. Now, I've never really been a cook in the kitchen. I mean, obviously I've always cooked, you know, but nothing where it was passionate. Um, this started maybe just, you know, a while back. I have some issues, you know, so this makes it a lot easier staying inside. You know, the bathroom's right there, not in pain, you know, so what, I'll get into that another video and explain to you, you know, all my issues and what's going on. Cause I'm sure a lot of people can relate, you know, as you get older, it's just like life kicks you in the butt. I mean, getting older, I got some white hairs growing on up here now. Back is not the same as you were a kid. Energy level is not the same. Well, for some people. I mean, I got an aunt that she's just got lots of energy. I wish I could have half her energy. All right, so now we're gonna take this cucumber and we're gonna lay these on top like this. Okay, now the fun part, well, at least we're gonna try. So I'll bring this up closer so you can see. This is what we have. Now we're gonna try to roll and this is the part that I have no idea if I can even do right, but I know it's said to, I mean, you know, if you're good at rolling joints, you probably can do this really good, but I can't even do that. So let's say roll, 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 oh, 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 it's coming out. So push all of that in there like that. And my cucumber came out, but that's okay. So we're gonna push, let's see. Eh, not too bad. Not too bad for the first time. So then we're gonna roll again. Pushing down it said, cause you wanna make it tight. I think it's supposed to be like that. You can roll. Oh, I think that made it worse. Hold on. <laughs> it looks so much easier and I might not even have it on the right side, but I'm definitely squishing the crap out of the avocado. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to flip it because I actually wanted the rice on the outside of it, not in the inside. That's okay. 
definitely not how it's supposed to look. It looks like a, just, I don't even know. But if you turn it to this side, you know, you could probably get away with it. We'll see. So we'll cut it. It's definitely not gonna look like sushi. It's gonna look like, you know, first time sushi, but hey, I'm gonna try one more because I wanna do the rice on the outside. So definitely not how it's supposed to be. Just falling apart. This one's not too bad. This one just, I think it's too much rice to be honest. Need less rice, so that's a fail, but that's okay because you know what? Fail and you get back up and you do it again. Cause that's life. It's when you give up is when you fail. All right, so we're gonna move all that over there. We're gonna get all this stuff off my hands, clean the board cause it's not messing. All right, I'm gonna get our paper. And I think I'm gonna try to do it this side up this time. See if that works. I'm gonna take some rice and before I put it in there, I'm actually gonna wet it a little bit more because I think it's just too, you know, Japanese rice is very sticky rice. So it kind of sticks together. Tell me if you're like me. So anytime I eat any kind of food that is Asian, I feel like I always need chopsticks. I can use them. I'm not, you know, amazing at them, but I have to use them. I don't know why. I feel like it just fits. Anybody else, when you eat food, Chinese food, Japanese food, anything like that, do you feel that you have to use chopsticks or am I all the only weird one that feels that I should do that? So, can I try to make this rice? Definitely sticks to your fingers. That's why you need water. I'm gonna push it down because I don't want a lot of rice this time. Publix makes these and they're really good, but it's so much rice that I'm not a fan of it. Um, there's a Japanese place out here that makes them and oh, they're amazing. It's very fresh, light, a little bit of rice. It's not overpowering with rice. And it's just really good. So a little bit on my children. My son, like I said, is 19. He'll be 20 this year. He is in school, he's in college. Um, you know, it's always a also when your kids go to college because life is hard today you know like they've made things so much harder for kids i don't even know how kids are going to survive sometimes everything's so expensive housing went up gas went up you know food prices have gone up out of being a parent the most thing you want for your children is to know that you know they're going to be okay when you're no longer here they can take care of themselves because you know it's not easy and then my daughter is 18 she's in college she's going for nursing which is something that i did i got my lpn graduated in 2008 i became a nurse um, my mother went back to school in her 50s, so it's never too late. She became an RN and Malia is gonna be going for her RN and being so young, you know, she'll be done in her early 20s making good money. All right, I think that's enough rice. It's not too much, not overpowering. I watched a video, he said put a little line in the middle, which I don't have a lot of rice, so it's okay. Hopefully this one comes out better. So we're gonna add that. It looks amazing until I mess it up. Now on this one, probably crazy, but I like cream cheese, so. I am gonna try add cream cheese to it. Don't know if it's gonna work, but it doesn't hurt to try. Got Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm gonna open it and just do one slice across and that should be good enough or maybe two slices put across, we'll see. So open this like this. Just gonna have to take the whole thing up, but I'm trying not to because I had it on the table so it's a little soft. There we go. So I'm gonna just cut slice down all the way like that. I probably should cut it in half. I don't know, let's see. It's very, very messy, but people do it with finesse and I am not, so that's okay though. I'm gonna take this, we're gonna add this on top like this. Then just a couple because I like the crunch of it, even though, you know, my tummy doesn't agree with it. Just not put too much. Now let's try this again. See if I can actually manage to roll it without messing it up. I'm gonna take it. And your four fingers, we're gonna push all this in. I wonder if this, the wrap's not big enough. What if I got too much stuff in here? But you know, I've seen some big old people roll all their things and they get a lot in there. I gotta say the seaweed wrap is very fishy smelly, which is gonna be, uh, it's Korean roasted flavor. So I don't know. Um, again, I don't like the smell of it, but we'll see. So I didn't shove all of that in there very good. Let's see if I can just take this out and roll this like this. You 
So you have to make it very tight, but I got a feeling that the sushi roll that I have, I mean, it says it's for sushi, but it's very strong. Um, maybe I'm just not doing it right. I have no idea. But it looks a lot better than the last one. And I did it wrong again. Ah, you're supposed to flip it. Once you put the rice on, you're supposed to flip it so that the rice is on the outside. And here again, I do it when the rice on the inside. But you know what you probably could do, which I'm not gonna do. Probably put some rice on it, but it'd be too much. So cut that off. So it looks a lot better. We're gonna go ahead and cut this. Definitely fishy smelling. That that seaweed it smells like the ocean. Like I love seafood, but I'm not a fan of like I said, fishy smells. So like I've never eaten clams before, um, mussels, anything like that. They're just ugh, like I can't. Like who wants to eat a loogie? I think just the thought of that. Like, ugh. I think I would just a minute it's went in my mouth and that sliminess I would probably gag. At least definitely are like little miniature <laughs> sushi. So they're very tiny. But overall, I think it's much better than the first one. They're just tiny. And which is cool because I don't like when they're really big. Cause I always cut my sushi in half because I don't want to put the whole thing in my mouth just in case. Might be gross, might not like it. So I bought some sriracha mayo, sriracha, how we say it? Can't even get it open, there we go. I'm a little scared because like I said, got a strong smell to it. Definitely didn't do a amazing job, but hopefully, you know, if I try again, I will get better at it. Tell me down below in the comments if you have ever made sushi at home and how did it come out? My mom said it was easy. It was not easy. A lot harder than it looks. A lot of, you know, thank goodness, technical issue, not issues, but a lot of other elements to it. Pour this in here. Because I feel sushi always needs this spicy mayo. All right, here goes nothing. Dip. Now, you know, you can get your ginger and your wasabi or your soy sauce, but I'm just a fan of this. <sighs> Moment of truth, let's see. It's good, needs improvement, but it's not bad. It's fresh, seaweed wrap's a little strong. I wish I could find something that wasn't so strong. Seaweed wrap rhymes, seaweed wrap rhymes. Seaweed wraps, if you know of anything that's not as strong and fishy tasting or what you can do to this to make this a little bit lighter, let me know down in the comments, I'd appreciate that. Um, but overall, it's good. It's small bites, so you know it's not like you're putting this huge thing in your mouth. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a like, comment down below, any comments, anything you wanna see. Also, please subscribe if you're not, turn that bell on. I got some cool videos coming up in a week or two. I'm going out to Orlando on Monday to film. It's gonna be amazing, you don't wanna miss it. And until next time, guys, I'll see ya.